Okie dokie. Franklish Donkin. Mordekaiser Jungle. I don't know. Apparently this is good. And by apparently, I mean I'm going to make it good. Because I've played this multiple times. I like it. But people are playing it differently now. They're playing it with... Uh, not normal stuff. They're playing it more with tank stats. So I want to see what that's all about. <clears throat> so instead of the normal stuff of Riftmaker and... Well, I guess actually that's pretty much the only thing that changes now that I, <laughs> now that I think about it. So instead of Riftmaker, I'll be going Sunfire. And that's like the only thing that actually changes. Everything else is a uh, completely standard Mordekaiser build. <laughs> actually, now that I think about it a little bit. And originally I did want to play Diana Jungle, but they did choose that themselves. Um, and this is actually... It's got to be up there with like one of the hardest Diana Jungle counters. Because I know Mordekaiser in general is a massive Diana counter. So I can't imagine the jungle matchup is too good for her. Also, this clear speed is ridiculous. I'm taking this into the bush as well, just to make sure Diana isn't trying anything cheesy with me. I want to kite this upwards, so I can just kill this. Walk right here. And I'll use my smite on this guy too. It's like a mini game to try and keep up my passive the whole time in this. But with the durability patch, apparently a lot of champions being built um, tanky instead now is becoming very, very, very popular. Also, this Shivana should just be dead, right? All right, bust the ghost. Bonk. Bonk. That missed. Okay. Or no. <laughs> Okay, but his wave's in a really good spot, so I'm just going to last hit a couple of these minions and let him TP back. I don't want to actually mess with this wave at all for him. Unless he wants to walk back to lane, then I guess I can sit here and CS, but he should be TPing any time here. There we go. There we go. And I will recall with first blood money. I could try and go down for this Scuttle Crab, but I would rather spend this ridiculous amount of money I just got so I can get my bombies and I can get my boots. Now, to my knowledge, there's actually a lot of people that are rushing Rylai's first instead of going for their Mythic first. And I don't know what's better. I know that I did try a game of Rylai's rush top lane Mordekaiser and no sugar coating that felt like butt cheeks that was that was bad that did not mm -mm. <laughs> that was not fun um you just kind of feel really weak like it's only good if you manage to somehow get so far ahead that you can just do whatever you want um but in terms of it being good, no. I don't think that was a very good one. But in the jungle, I guess I could see it a little more. Just because, you know, it actually helps your ganking power to have the additional slow. So I guess I could see it, maybe. I don't know if I can do anything gank-wise mid lane. So maybe I'll try and clear this and then just go get the minions mid. Because there's a lot of minions. Hello. <clears throat> okay. So by doing that, I made this lane a lot more of a hassle for him to deal with. Diana's actually trying to help him shove this. I think we just go for this, right? There we go. I got level 6 and I was going to use my ultimate on Diana if they tried to go in on me. 
Um, because if I use it on Game Plank, his oranges actually just take him right out of it. So definitely want to be mindful of that one. And it's the same kind of thing with Morgana. If she uses her shield on someone, I cannot ult them. So that's kind of rough. But it'll be fine, I'm sure. It will be fine. For the build, I'm still... I'm wondering, because I know on the Diana version, Diana's doing the same kind of thing. Where she goes for Sunfire instead of whatever it's called. Like, Rocket Belt. But, the thing with Diana is that she goes Nashor's first into the Sunfire. So I'm wondering if I could do that same thing on Mordekaiser. Because Nashor's on Mordekaiser is actually pretty solid. But... It does make you a lot less tanky when you're not in your ultimate. It just makes you really strong for dueling. Um, so I'm not... I'm not super certain on if that would be the play or not. Wait, really? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm probably going to try to start counter jungling a lot more and i'll definitely need to get spear visage probably sometime in this game because they do have morgana diana and shivana um and it looks like shivana is going to be going tank which actually means she's going to be doing a lot more magic damage than physical because so much of that build's damage comes from the application of her e and then all of her damage otherwise what's going on up here he should be completely out, yeah. It looks like... I don't really tell what Diana's going to try and get herself into. I'm gonna go ahead and just bust the ghost and run up here and kill Shivana. Hello! <laughs> okay, I ran up and yoinked it from him. <laughs> Sorry, Orange. <laughs> you totally had that, man. Boink. All right. Once again, Orn just... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Once again, it looks like I am riding off your coattails right now. Thanks for the kill. <laughs> I, in my defense on that second one, I really thought he was in a lot of trouble that time. I was trying really hard to get in range to alter, so <laughs> that time she wouldn't be able to kill him. But Orn just said, nah, dude, I got Flash, and walked away. <laughs> so in my defense, the second time, I really thought I was helping. Bonk. 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 Alright, Orn. There's my gift to you. I make Shivana super, super low. So now you can come back to lane, and she's not a problem. There's my gift. Is it a, is it a fair exchange? Are we even? Alright. How's each lane looking? Each lane is all still pretty high health on the towers. So maybe we could try and kill the Shivana or shove her out of lane and I herald top. Because I kind of want to be able to herald top. Um, not just because it would be good to get Orn like around the map. Um, but almost as an apology. So let's do this. Let's do this. I want him to shove this wave because we know Shivana's going to try and recall here. So, since Shivana's is going to try and recall here, or she's not, she's crazy. Alright, whatever. She can't really stop the Herald anyways. I'm going to run over here and Herald. This will, the very least, get Orn a uh, kill's worth of gold. So, that's not too bad. I'm tanking it right now. There you go. 
Oh no, Orn! Hmm. Well, you know what? I can't take any blame for him missing the tower. Damn. I was hoping my W would come up and be enough to shield me from that, but I guess it was barely, barely not. All right, Sunfire Achieve. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, she's staying. She's dead, right? Orange just ults? Yeah, buddy. Ooh, and he nails it. I thought... I thought you got slowed from Orn's ult when you... Oh, it's only when you get hit by the first part that you get slowed. The second part's just a knockup. Right. I remember now. So since I just spent a year top lane, all of my bottom jungle should be gone. So... We kind of expect... What? Cool. I like my blue buff. I like my blue buff. Wait, they don't have this warded. <laughs> okay. They don't have this warded either. And their team is really hard for me to gank. Hello. There we go. Oh no. What? How did I not hit her with my E? Alright, oh, whatever. <clears throat> At least I'll still get her in the end. She did use her flash there. So I'll still pick up the kill. And now... Actually, I should have gone to her bottom side jungle if I wanted to counter jungle anything. Because I think... Oh. Never mind. I was going to say, I think all of this should be down. But if it's not, then fantastic for me. Wait, what is this recall? Huh. Never mind. For some reason, I thought that recall would be a lot more exciting. <laughs> I thought that would be, like, a lot more exciting. Honor 5 recall? No, no. I mean Mordekaiser's recall. I know the honor recall. I meant this train track. I don't care about the honor 5 recall. I know I'm not a rude boy. Dude, that's what I was waiting for too, Obscene Queen. I was like waiting for a train to come across and Mordekaiser just thwap it. Okay, I want to see if I can get down to the dragon here. It should already be gone, yeah. I still think we can fight this. Hmm. I can't kill this guy. Maybe. Never mind, I can't. I'm the best. <laughs> oh no. Wait, I'm so tanky to him. Holy shit. 
I didn't realize that I, like, I knew I was tanky, but I didn't think I was that tanky. Good lord. Not already. Alright, well, I've already got Sunfire and my Rylize. Next up is Demonic Embrace, and then I'll get a Spirit Visage. Because I want to be, like, very tanky, but I'm not sure how much I want to lean into damage. But I think just Demonic Embrace and Rylize is going to be more than plenty. Because the durability patch made it so champions that can, like, stay in fights longer are thriving. Um... And that's why these, like, pseudo-tanky builds are actually gaining some traction. Because they let you just, as you would think, stay in a fight longer. So, that's kind of the goal. It looks like... I don't think even if he did all of those, it would kill her. Hello. Bonk. I know this guy doesn't have his oranges right now. So I'm just going to kill him. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my. Well, I should be able to get the Herald pretty easily. It doesn't really matter that they know that I'm on it. Because I don't care. That's why it doesn't matter. <laughs> but also because I have, like, all of the gold on my team, and none of them on the enemy team can fight me right now. Unless they, like, Omega Goon Squad me or something. And even then, I can still... Probably take someone with me. Hmm. The flash for the heal. Juked it. Boom. Ah, that's my Lux. Okay, nice. Well done. Well freaking done. All right, let's slam these. I actually don't want to use the Herald here because I want to save Herald for another lane. Ideally, I think I use it bottom. Don't do it. Damn it. Oh, she had Zonias anyways. There was no chance I kill her. <clears throat> I didn't even notice the Zonias. I didn't think she was going to go for me there. I thought Misfortune was going to stand with me. And then we would look really intimidating together. But if I knew she had Zonias, I wouldn't have stayed and tempted it. Hmm. <clears throat> Regardless, though, I get my entire demonic here. So far, so good. I'll sell this. And head towards Dragon. Because if I go straight to the Dragon, uh, I don't have Ghost or my ult, which does suck. But they're not preparing for this at all right now. That's really good for us. Thanks. Really, really good. Thanks, Collective. Appreciate that, man. Your turret has been destroyed. I'm gonna go just walk down bottom and throw the Herald here. I know this looks silly, but Herald just kills that turret. <clears throat> so then they have to deal with it. What? That's going to be a big ult. Hmm. How did my ultimate get canceled on Draven the first time?
No, Morgana shielded herself. It wouldn't get canceled the first time if he sh or if she shielded Draven. And I'm pretty sure you're unstoppable when you're casting it, right? You want to say the CC from Shivana's ult? Shivana was dead by the time I was trying to ult Draven, so that's definitely not it. Really off CD? No, I definitely saw the mace go up. I think it was Draven's E. The heck? Why is this like <laughs> a quarter counter jungle? <laughs> We're both level 13. I can fight her with the smite though, even if she is level 14. She has thorn mail. Let's see. I guess I'll just go for it. Oh wait, she jumped at me, so she just loses horribly now. So her only chance of living there is if she ults away and tries to kite me out, but since she jumped onto me, there's no shot. <clears throat> Absolutely no shot. Bernard, thank you for the 27 months, man. Alright, still 12 out of 14 kills right now. And after I get Spear Visage, I definitely need to just get more armor. Because Draven is getting really fed. But maybe it doesn't really matter that much. Because if I just kill the Draven, that doesn't matter. Hello? Bonk. 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 Man, I really, really, really just out-talented that guy to the max there. Oh, almost. I still got her Flash Zonias and Ultimate, though. <clears throat> That's not bad. Fear Message is actually a lot more expensive than I thought. I thought it was 2600 I didn't realize it was 2900 so That is totally fine. Hopefully, I'm giving my team enough time to scale up, though, somewhat. Because I'm trying to get money for my team by getting these outer towers and buying a bunch of time for them to keep farming, you know, waves and whatnot. So I hope it's going to pay off soon. <clears throat> How much is this now? 250. And Draven is super easy for me to kill this game. That's really good. Yeah, the Orn upgrades are coming too. Which are a very good amount of money. Of value, at least, per each one you do. So those are great. I guess I should have gotten the bot wave first. Fortune should have gone top here. Whenever you're in a position where you're watching something unfold, if you look at a losing fight, you never want to walk towards the losing fight because you're just wasting your time by doing nothing anyways, right? So she should have gone top and just collected that wave. I'm just going to ult her, just so I can stay safe here. Because this should give me time for my team to come into this. And then I can just do this to all of them. Does he burn? He doesn't burn. Okay.
I need to alt the or not alt, but smite the Diana here. And I just need to distract her a little bit. Okay. I have W as soon as she's up. There we go. Easy. Finally, getting some breathing room for my team. Let's go. Get okay, dragon off the table. That's what five more minutes of farming that we can do to scale up. I love that. I want to chill here, and I also want to walk up to that red buff. Ooh, Draven's not gonna go for it, so I guess I just get a red buff. Or I might be able to catch out Diana, maybe. Though I doubt she would... I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Okay. Hopefully they should be fine there. This does kind of stink that I don't get enough money to get my entire thorn mail. But... It is fine. And is thorn mail even the choice here? Nah, yeah, Thornmail's good. I think Thornmail's good. I think Thornmail is very, very good. Ooh, and I'm getting my Sunfire upgrade now. What is it now? Forge Fire Crest. What a name. I need... I think just this, and then I can get my Thornmail. Just a tiny bit more. That was wrong. Hello? Be careful. I am getting my sixth item. Isn't Bramble plus the elixir a better purchase than a belt? I would much rather not ever get elixir there if I can avoid it because that's 500 gold off of my full item. You only get elixir if you think a fight is truly inevitable. And since I'm controlling like 98% of the real estate of my team right now, if I don't want there to be a fight, there better not fucking be a fight this game. Because if I'm not the one starting it, then my entire team is literally just inting it. So only, only delay completed items. If you truly think there's no chance that you can avoid a fight. Can I go for this? I think I can. Nice. And I get the kill. But I didn't dodge that? I'll just walk out of this. Nice. Triumph kicks in. My timing is impeccable. Get a big heal off of that. Diana cannot fight me. Does she want to try, though? Oh. Maybe Orn gets this knockup. Nice. Oh, I thought she was going to try and, like, super juke it. Whatever. I've still got the slows on her. Oh, my timing was actually not impeccable that time. I'm a noob. I am a noob. Perfect, though. Absolutely perfect. I think we may have been able to go for Baron if we didn't go for the two catches, but I think it was still worth. I'm actually going to alter here. I know this looks kind of crazy. But she's now caught out. Oh, never mind. There goes her flash. Oh, she's dead. What? Okay. Come to this. Come to this. Uh, where's Miss Fortune? There she is. Okay. Because we need to do this fast. And I mean fast. 
but there shouldn't be any issue with this because I don't think anyone was on the bottom side of the map to do the dragon while we do Baron. Oh my gosh, that thousand HP heal from my W. Okay, Draven, you got to actually hit the Baron if you want to try and steal it. I respect it, but you got to hit the Baron. No, no, Zerath, don't go top. Zerath, Zerath. This is their soul if we let them get this. <laughs> Go towards this. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Fair enough. Very good. <laughs> All right, whatever. Ocean Soul is actually not that big of a deal, especially considering if we just get the Elder off of it now. We just need people to have healing reduction. Actually, do we even need that? Reavis is kind of troll, isn't it? Okay. We can push these down, no problem. This guy doesn't have a uh, QSS, so I'll just kill him here real fast. Or he'll flash out. This is kind of a problem for me. Maybe? Oh, Orn flashed in ah that's not the direction we want to go in that situation since i had already gotten out going forward on that is probably the worst thing possible it is unfortunate that i queued the way i did though Oh, right. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm super full build. I'm just kind of like mindlessly farming at this point. Excuse me? That actually hit me? Oh! Break her tether and yoink her back at me, dude. Did I ghost for this? I'm ghosting for it. Fight me, brother. Fight me in the Walmart parking lot. Yes. Another thousand HP heal, dude. So the the issue with her flashing for that one is we have zero follow-up damage even if she hits that. <laughs> so even if she hits the Diana with that ult or with that Q there, we have uh, no actual way to kill her afterwards. Oh, nice. I've got the perfect amount of tenacity right now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is it worth selling my boots for Cosmic Drive? I don't think so. I actually don't think so. But I think I am going to get Blue Elixir here. Because I think having a bit more AP is going to be nicer. Does that... Oh, pfft. no. I absolutely have to get Elixir of Iron. I didn't realize it was 18% of my tenacity. Tiny bit of damage won't make a difference. That tenacity might, though. Um... He needs to try and go in on this. Hello? Uh-uh. At, at, at. I am unavoidable. I am inevitable. I'm very avoidable. I'm very slow. If you CC me, I have nothing to do but use my legs. Okay, we should just, like, walk it down mid. We should just, like, walk it straight down mid. 
Oh, hello! Nice! Don't we just win the game off of that? Let's go. Yep, we win the game off of that. I'm sorry, my hitbox is just too bad. Kill the tower. Kill the tower, it's killing me. There we go. I can get this one too. I'm tanking it still. Bonk. At, at, at. No killing Lux. Not on my watch. <laughs> Bonk. GG. Well played. Talk about a carry performance. So it seems that Mordekaiser jungle is actually still pretty all right, huh? It seems that Mordekaiser Jungle is still pretty all right. Because that actually felt good. And I won't lie. I thought, I really thought that I was going to feel like I was missing out on the damage by going Sunfire instead of Riftmaker. But I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything. I felt, oh my god, 74,000 damage? Holy moly! Excuse me? Hold on, how much damage did I take? Oh, I didn't take as much as Shivana, but I did still take 63,000 damage. What about mitigated damage? I mitigated 113,000 damage. So I did 74,000, took 64,000, mitigated 113,000 damage. This is damage that I either reduced by the resistances I had or shielded through my W. That's why Orns is so high. That's why Shivana's so high. That's why Diana's is up there. But I mitigated 113,000 damage. Hold on, let's see the healing too. Okay, that's ally healing. I need healing done. I still did almost 30,000 healing. By far the most in the game. Not even close. This build does it all, dude. Holy shit. With just two damage items. Otherwise, it was full tank. I, you know what? I'm, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm convinced. So try this build out if you like Mordekaiser. You can do this top lane as well. Um, it'll work the exact same way. I just did his jungle because I was already jungling. And if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, whatever, all that jazz. Uh, what's that other thing that people say? Uh, ring that mother freaking bell for more notifications on videos like this. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!